Hi guys and welcome to a battle between the legendary and mighty Lizardmen up against the forces of the Empire. I myself, the Rubber Duck of War, are going to be controlling the Lizardmen up against Zombie and Marcus Wolfheart led Empire forces. We are playing on Tower of Hereth, so let's hop in there and have a little look at both the armies. So. We've been experimenting recently with different Lizardman builds, not going for so much of a Salamander heavy style of play, but instead of rocking with the mighty Croxagore, but let's have a little look in the front line. So we do have some red crested skinks on the flanks, with Saurus Warriors and Cohort of Sotek as well pushing through the middle. Now what I really like here about the combination of the red crested skinks with Saurus Warriors, of course red crested skinks do cause poison attacks. So they poison down whatever they're facing, then the Saurus come in and really help mop up the foes. We have a nice little air force here of heroes as well. We have a skink priest of beast coming with that manticore summon, curse of an ear, and flock of doom. We have a skink chief as well, just to be harassing and annoying in general. He's a pretty cheap and cheerful fellow himself. And we have a red crested skink chief on top of his mighty, mighty flying piranha here. He uh, does pack a little bit of punch, anti-infantry, frenzy, all that good stuff, but his main buffs really come in the form of the Warrior's Crest, combined with Potion of Strength and Opal Amulet, but he can still be very, very squishy himself, so you have to be a little bit careful. Now, down hidden in the forest here, we do have one unit of Croxagore. They are shoveled up a tiny bit, and deeper into the forest, we have the Cohort of Hoatl here, coming in with their Space Marine-inspired Power Fists here, which look incredibly badass, crackling with arcane fire there. As, uh, these guys do a pretty decent job. They do have Armor Sundrain, as well as the Armor Piercing. A pretty good mixed unit overall, coming in with magic attacks as well, gives them a little bit of a niche. Minus 30 Armor Sundrain as well can do pretty damn decent. So overall, a fun unit. Perhaps a little too expensive for what it actually does, but I've been experimenting with them uh, recently and I'm having some good fun. So that is it for the main part of our force here, and let's have a little look at my opponent. He does come in with three units of Outriders, very good pick in this matchup, nice and fast. The um, Lizardmen don't have too much which can catch them very effectively, if you, unless you bring your know, Chameleon Skinks and so forth, and they do decent armor piercing damage. For front line, he has Spearmen all the way dotted along with triple gold chevron, really hoping that they can hold the line while the rest of his army does the damage. Now for the rest of the army, we are going to have a little bit of a net build coming in. We have the Light Wizard coming with Net of Amantok and also Fars Protection. We have Marcus Wolfheart in the back as well, of course, coming with his net and all his nice little sniping abilities, as well as the Silver Bullets, who are currently hidden and invisible, of course. He's also going to be rocking a Witch Hunter, I believe just the one here. So a nice little sniping core here, trying to net down people and then hit them with the Silver Bullets, Marcus and the Witch Hunter all in one go. Looks like we do have some Empire Knights slowly working their way into these uh, very spooky trees over here, trying to snipe out to see if I have anything uh, in hidden in reserve. And we have a couple of Empire Knights as well in the back here, can be backing up this Outrider core. But I've noticed in the distance, I did forgot er forget to say earlier, I do have the Pohawks Sentinels in the distance, and another unit of Terran Riders as well hidden in the trees. So without further ado, let's get this battle underway. So instantly you're going to see some uh, terrible positioning by me as the Skink Chief does start to push forward. For some reason I was thinking, you know what, I can just pop in these Outriders, they're going to be on skirmish mode, they're going to flee. But no, they hold the line and just obliterate my Skink Chief, which is a really bad start to the battle. But he's going to come back, still has over a thousand health, still can be relatively annoying. And we're going to slowly start chipping away at the Outriders with Flock of Dooms as well. So I want, you know, when I finally catch them, I want them to be weak enough that I just punch them instantly and they break and shatter. Like we're moving up our forces, sticking to the trees of our Croxagore for the most point as well. We are going to notice that there's a lot of Empire Knights on the right-hand side. As we do adjust our army, the Croxagore are slowly going to flood and rotate around to the right-hand side here. Our Terran Riders are going to start hunting down Empire Knights, just doing a little bit of pick damage. You know, just slowly firing those darts in, trying to find the gaps in their thick armour here. Trying to drag them down as much as possible. As you can see, the Outriders are starting to rotate around. They did a good job taking down that Skink Chief, or at least damaging him. Going to be rotating around now, trying to hunt down the Pohawk Sentinels, who are going to simply flee into the forest and try and lose these guys swooping between the trees. Skink Chief very beat up, so not too much to lose. I'm going to be slowly moving him in. Looks like I'm going to be trying to hunt down the Light Wizard. I haven't yet spon uh, spotted the Silver Bullets here, but I do notice a little bit too late and get caught in a net of Amantalk. So Skink Chief having a very bad day indeed, being obliterated and then netted. So, I see the net has been popped, so we're now going to be swooping in with the Terranon Riders. The Outriders are slightly out of position, chasing ghosts in the forest. So we're going to be moving in, trying to get a nice rock drop down on the Silver Bullets. But alas, Marcus Wolfheart also has a net and drops it down. The Terranon Riders are just going to start getting obliterated here. Outriders are very quick to react. So nice play by my opponent coming in and obliterating these Terranon Riders. And I'm not quick enough off the bat to uh, move them once the net has been removed. 
So we're going to start flooding in. And I'm pretty confident of winning the infantry fight. Yes, these guys are gold chevroned, but they're still just spearmen. They're going to hold for a long time, but that is about it. Coming in here and slowly going to start clubbing them down as the main battle line does get underway. The Saurus crash into the spear wall. So in the back line, still very well protected forces here. And uh, fast moving AP units all dotted around. So we're going to have to be very careful. We've got Red Crescent Skink Chief and other flying units at Croc Score and so forth. So we are going to summon a Manticore to start putting pressure onto the back line just as the uh, big heavy hitters do start to come a little bit near. Don't want these guys targeted down too much. But we are rotating the Croc Score and the cohort of Rattle over to the side to try and get an engagement up against the Empire Knights. So Red Crescent Skink Chief just floats around trying to be a nuisance. We do have the Pohawk Sentinels as well, rocking in the background for now. Another net does come down though on the Ferromanticore as he tries to swoop in on the Silver Bullets. And, uh, he's just getting absolutely riddled here with holes. We do drop a flock of Doom as well, just trying to pick off the Silver Bullets where we can. And in come the Cohort Throttle, trying to push their way through and break through the Spear Wall as quickly as possible to get onto the back line. Coming in there, though, very cool attack animation, dragging through Spearmen. And uh, it is always a bad day to be a uh, state trooper in the forces of the Empire. Crocs all trying to push through as well in the front line. It looks like our Red Crested Skink Chief also hopped into the back, just trying to shut down the Silver Bullets for as long as possible. Fast protection does go down by my opponent, though. Really nice um, added area of effect here. Plus 30 armor and 24 melee defense, making this side of the formation one. Really trying to punch a hole through, quite resilient. We do carry on pushing through the Crocs ball, though. We spam click our way through and get on top of the Silver Bullets, but another Hunter Snare does come down which is uh, pretty scary. So what we do, we pop a Ferromanticore, and we're going to start paying pressure once again onto this back line. Nice cycle charging coming in the rear by Empire Knights, sandwiching our poor Saurus Warriors. Rear Crest Skink Chief, going to pop Potion of Strength and War Crest, dump in here, and try to destroy a couple of these Empire Knights as quickly as possible. Now, things aren't going too well for us. Balance Power is against us, despite the fact that we do have a Ferromanticore on the field. We have the uh, Skink Chief as well, or Skink Priest, sorry, going to be swooping in, trying to do some damage. But once again, Ferromance Core got netted and uh, just absolutely obliterated by Outriders here. But it is allowing our Croc score a little bit more free range. So we're slowly beating through Spearman and constantly hunting these Silver Bullets, trying to uh, trap them down. My opponent's doing a really fantastic job. All game so far, protecting his back line, but we're finally into the cookie jar here. I'm going to start tearing these guys apart. Another nice flock of Doom as well, catching all three of the Outriders here. Pohawk Sentinels once again taking a little bit too much damage, they're going to be falling back towards the tree line as the rest of our army does eventually start to grind through these spearmen with the help of some of our more heavy hitters here. Do you have the Skink Priest as well, just falling back a little bit out of the range of these nasty outriders, but Marcus hunting this guy down with a real good efficiency here and great accuracy, doing some huge snipe potential. Empire Knights going to be taking an engagement here with the Cohort of Huata, which is not a great engagement for the Empire Knights. So yes, they get a nice charge bonus, but now their armor is going to be sundered, and they're going to begin absolutely pummeled into pulp here by this uh, mighty sacred Croxagor. And as you can see, lifting rocks up into the air and punching them into the faces of those horses. Glorious action indeed. In the back line, we certainly have started to get our opponent onto the back foot a little bit. Red Crest Skink Chief hunting down that Light Wizard and routing him off the field, as well as the Silver Bullets. Certainly going to be a passion through. Looks like we are hooked up on some spearmen for now. We're going to start hunting down these units with the Croxagor, which is a really good pick from us. Skink Priest once again, dropping a flock of Doom. Not actually doing too much damage though, so over the course of battle probably would have been worth dropping it on the spearmen to help us push through that front line a little bit closer. We are using one unit of Saurus Warriors with shields to push these guys off and trying to waste their ammo as much as possible. Empire Knights, though, going to react to this. They've been bouncing around the combats very effectively, up to 37 kills. Going to try hunting down the Saurus. And we uh, have one last brave cohort of Sotek just standing around, uh, chilling, probably going to be getting after Marcus soon, who's getting some nice shots in to the Saurus Warriors, who are slowly dragging down the Witch Hunter. They're actually pretty good at tearing apart characters like that and basic spearmen, of course. Pohawk Sentinels as well, just chilling on the outskirts here, going to be coming in when they can. A nice shot coming in there uh, by Marcus. Managed to snipe out my poor, poor Skink Priest as another net goes down on the cohort of Huatus. They were trying to get in after Marcus Wolfart, but in comes the Red Crest Skink Chief and in comes the cohort Sentinels as well, trying to hunt this guy down. As the uh, net does start to dissipate at last, we're going to be really trying to hunt down Marcus where possible. But on foot, he can be a tricky character to actually do damage to as he gets flung down to the ground quite a lot and uh, doesn't really take too much damage. But my opponent does have Spearmen coming in, as well as some Empire Knights and Outriders, so quite a key engagement here. We do break off the Witch Hunter, and in the distance, we very um, luckily managed to use this unit of Crocscore to shatter the Light Wizard, and now we're going to be able to chase off the Silver Bullet. So I was constantly in two minds if I should bring these guys back to the main fight, but I really wanted those Silver Bullets gone, as they can do some huge damage to what's left of my army. 
Now in this main fight here, we do have Marcus Wolf out surrounded. It's not the greatest position by us because Outriders are still trying to skirt and shoot where they can. And there's Spearman saturated on top of him, but I just wanted him dead as quickly as possible. And the uh, Cavalry Battle, very tanky unit overall. They can easily deal with you know, Outriders trying to charge him to save their Lord. They're going to be beating all of these guys down around them. Unfortunately, the Cavalry Sentinels, not made of quite so stern stuff, are going to be uh, routing off the field here. As Empire Knights constantly coming in with that cycle charging where possible. Crocs got just about chased the silver bullets off in the distance. And they're going to be turning around and coming back into the main fight here. Outriders done some fantastic value so far, but they are down just to the last dregs of their ammunition. And there's still quite a lot of uh, angry Croc Scott around, including a pretty much full health Red Crested Skink Chief. We do manage to break Marcus Wolfhart here, who's desperately trying to route. It looks like the Empire Knights are breaking as well. And over here, Source Wars finally reigning victorious up against these very pesky spearmen and force off the Witch Hunter also. Constantly using just drips and drags, you know, a couple of Pohawk Sentinels here. Source Wars as well, constantly just trying to put pressure onto the Outriders to make him shoot the wrong targets and also push them away from the main fight. Here, Marcus certainly not going to be able to escape the Red Crested Skink Chief, who's much, much faster than him. And the Co-op as well are going to be charging into these Empire Knights. The awesome running animations where they go down onto all fours, and these very angry crocodiles are going to be getting in there and uh, forcing away these Empire Knights who do lose heart as Marcus does get dragged down. So, very good game. Well played to my pen there. Lots of mistakes and pros by my own performance. Getting the uh, Skink Chief basically destroyed at the start, of course, wasn't too good. And not particularly great play overall coming in with the Flying Units. But we did manage to push into the back line with the Crocsgar. The massive MVPs here, the cohort of Herato, managed to beat down Spearman quite effectively. And also take down all those Empire Knights before surrounding Marcus Wolfar at the brink there. That's the type of build I've been experimenting with recently, bringing in more croc score, flying units, and so forth. Just trying out a few different dino builds. I've been having some pretty good success with it on ladder, actually, and having some really good fun. Well played to my opponent, though, Zombie. Don't think I faced him before. I believe this was the first time we um, came across each other. Really nice play. Got some good cycle charging in with the Empire Knights, and fantastic value from those Outriders. I like the idea of the build, holding the line with the Spearmen, and then using the Outriders, Silver Bullets, mixing with the Nets to try and snipe down... Um, key targets. You know, nothing new groundbreaking, nothing new, but it's an old tried and true tactic which worked with great efficiency there. But luckily, I had just enough units to manage to swarm, and the Croc Squad ha I had that added punch to really push through. He couldn't use the Outriders to shoot them because they were hunting down you know, my flying units, which at least, you know, got some good value being a distraction, and that allowed the Croc Squad to get in there on the key targets and slowly drag him down. But a Pyrrhic victory indeed. Hope you guys did enjoy. If you did, please do consider leaving a big old thumbs up, comment, subscribing, all that good fun stuff. Now we are going to be having a stream later today, a Come At Me Bro series, where I'm going to be doing quick battles on ladder, and uh, you guys can feel free to tune in and try and snipe me out. We're also going to be having a clan war tomorrow between DBD, which is my own clan, up against the extreme meme team, which should be some good fun. So if you want to see that, guys, uh, feel free to subscribe so you don't miss out. Anyway, guys, until next time, peace, peace, and as always, stay awesome.